just now, we were at the Knights of Avonius, and... and... I take it you're about to inform me of the war declaration from the Abyss Order. I'm aware of it. Though I appreciate you for taking the trouble to come all this way. What? The Don Winery's intelligence network extends beyond commercial matters. Great! So, what's the plan, Master Diluc? I'm open to suggestions. No. That would be playing right into the hands of the Abyss Order. They know full well that we don't exactly see eye to eye. They're using this as a means to force me into making an appearance. If my identity were exposed, all my future activities would be subject to some degree of interference from the Knights. After all, no powerful organization wishes to be outdone by someone from the outside. Ooh, the Abyss Order has really dealt you a tough hand this time. What a sneaky little bunch those guys are. There is a way, but for it to work, I need some more information. Specifically, I need to decipher the obscured portions of the Abyss Order's war declaration. Obscured portions? You mean the bits Paimon can't read? It must be a cipher only understood by members of the Abyss Order, used to spread messages within the organization. It's not simply a war declaration, but also a notification to their own. When you take a stand that makes you a hero to one party, you also become a villain to the other. And since I've been the Abyss Order's enemy for so long, they've made me the target around which they can rally their troops and unite their strength. Wow! Seems like it takes a lot of brains to be a superhero, huh? I understand my enemy well, is all. As the saying goes, heroes and villains are two sides of the same coin. So what are we going to do about the intel that's written in gibberish, then? How do we un gibberish by it? Simple. When you don't understand something, you ask. I've already tracked down one of their strongholds. If you're interested, feel free to come along. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like these are precisely the kind of place the Abyss Order likes to camp out. Come on, 
There's no time to lose. This is the place. Abandoned room. Come on. I'll keep an eye on you. Ready.
resistance. Urine for a little shock. <laughs> No knight of Favonius. Now start talking. Your plan, what is it? I see you received our letter. But if you think I'm going to let you in on our secrets, I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. <laughs> you appear to have misunderstood the situation you're in. <laughs> Did you just use a pyro vision to shoot fire from your hands? <laughs> it burned! Let's see how long it takes for you to crack. Stop! Stop! Please! Pain! I beg you! Make it stop! Playing dead won't help you. That fire was nowhere near strong enough to... Oh. He seems to have passed out. Hey! You sleep when I say you can sleep! It burned! I'll talk! I'll talk! Ow, ow, ow! Please! I'll tell you everything. Be, be a disorder. We've amassed a force bound by a shared hatred for the Dark Knight hero. They will march on the Mondstadt city gates at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. That's everything I know. Please, don't make me suffer those flames again. That's it? Well, I doubt you'd be foolish enough to keep anything else hidden.
Now that I have the information I need, I must prepare. I would be grateful if you could keep me updated on how the Knights of Favonius respond to this matter. Yes, Master Diluc, sir! Anything you say, Master Diluc, sir! Why are you acting so strange all of a sudden? In... in light of what just went down here a moment ago, Master Diluc has officially reached number one on Paimon's people not to tick off under any circumstances list. Uh. We do not make contact with the Dark Knight hero soon. Ah, it's you two. I must admit, this issue of the Dark Knight hero is proving to be something of a headache. We've just held a meeting to decide on an appropriate course of action. Can you guess what it is? No. That would send a signal that the Knights are in favor of the Dark Knight's hero's continued presence in our city, which we are not. Encouraging this kind of individual heroism undermines the Knight's authority. Oh, well, what's the plan then? Find out the Dark Knight hero's true identity and offer him our protection. Protection? He seems to be doing just fine without your protection so far, you know. <sighs> well, since you've aided the Knights in the past, I might as well just tell you. The offer of protection is just a ruse in order for the Knights of Favonius to take over full and exclusive responsibility for this matter. You aren't gonna let the Dark Knight hero be all heroic and stuff? Why not? Firstly, to show the might of the Knights of Favonius, to prove to the people that without the Dark Knight hero, they can still rely on the Knights to maintain peace and harmony. Secondly, the Abyss Order have no mercy in their hearts. If anything happened to the Dark Knight hero, it would only serve to further their nefarious ambitions. Gosh, Paima never knew the life of a knight involved so much untold anguish before. But none of this will work if we don't establish the Dark Knight hero's true identity in time. There's no need to despair, Huffman. Just follow my plan and everything will be fine. Ah, uh, Captain Kaya! Lately, Master Diluc has been working the bar at the Angel's Share every night. All I need you to do is keep him in your sight. Think you can manage that for me? Uh, yes, Captain Kaya. But does that mean that Master Diluc is the Dark Knight hero? Who knows? It's just a hunch. I've been known to be wrong on occasion. We saw a whole new side of the Knights of Favonius today. But Paimon doesn't understand. How is Kaya so sure he knows who the Dark Knight hero is? We need to get to the winery and tell Master Diluc as soon as Paimonly possible. <laughs> 